Hello, Simi here at O'Reilly. So I have here a Ford Transit Custom. I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story about it and I'm going to explain something in some different terms so people can understand what I'm talking about. So this van has come down from Manchester because it's had multiple DPF regens which didn't work. People have tried to clean the DPF, put it back on and within a short distance the fault comes back. Um, new turbo has been put on it, glow plugs, uh, EGR valve I think and some various sensors that didn't fix the problem so these were all done at different garages but one garage in particular uh, each time we went back they ran a force regen and within a mile or two down the road the fault came back on so when they come back they said oh let's try and clear the fault again take it on a longer drive see what happens uh, come back no it didn't work so let's try another regen then they said let's try two or three regens um, one after another so one regen and then when that's finished Let's run another regen and see if that works. So one, two, three regens consecutively. So let me tell you the story about forced regens and how it works. It's like if you go to a tire shop and your tire here is flat and then you go to a tire shop and say, look, I've got a flat tire. And he says, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll force some air back into it. Now drive up along the road and see how that goes. Yeah, you get four, four or five miles down the road, your tire's flat again. Then you come back and say, no, the tire went flat again. And then they say, okay, let's try putting some more air in it and see how that goes. And then it didn't work again. So, they, what, how can I explain it <coughs> any further from there? They just, can, they just try and repeatedly do that. Or you've got a crack in the sidewall of the tire and then they say, okay, let's put some, some, spray can in, 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 in there and hopefully that'll seal it up. Uh, it doesn't work, so a forced regen is not fixing the problem. You just basically, like if you compare it to a tire, you're going to a tire shop with a, with a puncture, you've got a screw in it and they're putting some more air in it and telling you to drive down the road. If your DPF is blocked, there's always a reason behind it and you need to find that problem and fix it. Now, I've found that problem here. This is what it is. The fuel vaporizer. You can see this one that tried to come out with it. But we'll get that sorted out, get a new one fitted, and then the DPF on this van will be fine. So you see that little port there, it's all blocked up with carbon, and if we connect it to a gauge, you can squeeze the gauge and get it up to 30 psi of pressure. So that shouldn't happen. So if we disconnect that from the vaporizer and we squeeze it, that's exactly what we should see. No pressure. Okay, so we're getting this all cleaned out now, and we'll see you in the next video.